Nina and I'm Mahi and today we have a different background because we are shooting in Mahi's room and we <laughs> thought it's a little more colorful and better yeah we're trying something new i think we will make this a permanent background yeah, maybe. maybe it's easier to shoot here also <laughs> yeah we are quite comfortable <laughs> yeah also the video we are doing today is a little different from what we have been doing we have two recipes today and also our recipes usually are also pretty easy and today it's even easier so this is for you lazy bakers out there if you saw ask bakerlicious we were asked a question about lazy baking yeah. what should lazy people make and so this is our response to that you can say yeah kind of yeah yeah <laughs> so let's get started okay, so the things you'll require will be 1/4 of a cup of plain flour 1/4 of a cup of brown sugar we have used brown sugar but you can also just use regular white sugar the only difference is that since this is a microwave recipe the brown sugar will add a little more moisture 1/4 of a cup of milk 2 tablespoons of cocoa powder 2 tablespoons of melted butter and some chocolate chips or chocolate chunk chunks and of course you need a mug and something to mix everything with we we are just using a fork So this is insanely easy. All you have to do is just mix everything together except for the chocolate, which will go on top. And here we're just going to start with the dry ingredients first: the flour, the cocoa powder, and finally the sugar. Give everything a good mix, and then just add in all the wet ingredients. So that's the butter and the milk. Give it a really good stir. So it's all mixed up together. As you saw, it was really simple to do, and now just add in the chocolate chips or chunks over top. So this needs to be cooked in the microwave for about a minute, but that's at an 800 watt power setting. If your microwave is more powerful than that, then just check after 30 seconds and keep checking it at 30 second intervals. And uh, we're just going to do that now. My my microwave is 800 watts, so we'll just be putting it for a minute and checking. So for the cookies, we'll require one tablespoon of melted butter, two tablespoons of brown sugar again. Then there's um, two teaspoons of milk. There's two tablespoons of chocolate chips or chocolate chunks. There's three tablespoons of flour, and there's one four teaspoon of vanilla essence. So again, it's pretty easy. We are, uh, we just mix all the ingredients together. We prefer doing dry to wet. So we'll be mixing the flour, the sugar. just give it a good mix and then add in the milk and the butter and then the vanilla essence mix them all together make sure there are no flour pockets so your cookie dough is ready you will be putting half of the chocolate chunks and mixing it and then the other half we'll be just topping it so we have topped the cookie dough with the rest the other half of the chocolate chips and the baking or cooking time in the microwave will remain the same as the brownies what you can also alternatively do is scoop them on, scoop the cookie dough into a plate if you want a perfect cookie but then we'll just make it in a mug so we are done baking and you saw both of them they look similar but they were not they, they were, were not. pretty different obviously the texture like the cookie was harder and the brown it was pretty much exactly like the cookie texture and the brownie texture and it tasted different as well it's yeah it's very different taste wise uh, she liked the cookie better yeah, i definitely. like the brownie i'm a brownie person anyways so. and we took about 2 minutes stops to make it totally yeah so, so you know it's really great. simple yeah and i think even people in hostels who only have access to microwaves and not ovens i think it's great for them too yeah these are very basic ingredients which you can have on hand literally if you have a chocolate craving these are things you can possibly have at home these recipes don't even have eggs in them so it's pretty perfect yeah so hope you like the video and if you did give it a thumbs up subscribe share all those other things do comment which one you like better do you like brownies or cookies and also follow us on our social media the links are down in the in the description and also we have a facebook page it's facebook.com/bakelicious101 so do like it we post updates regularly pretty regular <laughs> so and yeah. that's it yeah. so we'll see you next time see you. bye